everyone, it's Nisha, happy Monday. So today, there isn't that much to report. Um, I've had quite a busy week. Um, I thought I will talk today about my under eye bags because, right, anyway, let me just quickly tell you about my bed. So my bed has arrived last Wednesday, well, just the headboard because like I've told you before, um, the first headboard that I've ordered was too high and I couldn't get it upstairs. So I had to get the lower one and my bed is beautiful. I love it. Um, like I said before, it's such a good value for money. I will leave you again link to the website. Um, I've got one of those Ottoman beds that you can store stuff underneath. That's the only thing, I, I think maybe that's why it's a bit cheaper because the bottom of the bed is just, you know, very thin, plus, not, what is it, play, play wood, not play wood, you know, one of those really thin boards that you couldn't really s store anything very heavy in there um, because it, you know, it gives, but it doesn't matter. I, I use it, what I wanted it for is for my bed linen, you know, all the changes for bed linen, for extra towels, stuff like that. So I didn't want it to store anything heavy. Um, I will insert photo here um, of my bed. I really love it. It's very functional. It looks really nice and it's inexpensive, I think. Just remember, I bought just the frame. I didn't buy the mattress with it. We bought the mattress separately. Um, but today I wanted to talk about my eye bags and a lot of you lately been saying that oh your under eye area is looking really good. What have you done? And I haven't really noticed but after you saying that when I think about it yeah I think it does look a bit better and I was thinking what is it? I think most of it is makeup and also the lighting. Sometimes the lighting in here is very, very complimentary, it's very good. It depends. I have here like two bright lights, but I also have daylight through the window. But the daylight has big influence on how my videos look because it could be sunny, it could be miserable, it could be raining. Sometimes I have to put the blinds down. So lighting has a lot to do with it. But yes, after you've said that, I must say, I have noticed a bit of a difference. I think I still have the eye bags, especially when I look down, but they are not as bad. Um, so, um, they, they, I, I will just tell you what I am doing different in the last, I don't know, couple of months maybe a bit less than that, different than what I've always done. You know, my very first discovery which really helped with my eye bags was the Tranquility Skincare Banish Puffy Eye Cream. And I still have some left and I use it every night still anyway. Okay, so I think the biggest difference, what I've done, I've been really, really good with drinking water. I've been drinking water every day. Um, as much as I can remember, I always have a bottle of water by where I sit and um, I try to drink more of that. There are days that I will just drink tea and coffee and, and forget completely about water, but water is probably the best thing to be hydrated, to flush out the toxins, because a lot of, you know, underneath bags is to do with, with um, build up of toxins and, and all that and dehydration. So that's first thing um, I think they've made a big difference. I have been really, really drinking a lot of water. And the second thing I've been using, not every day, which I should every night, but I use it quite often, is remember I received this light steam, steam anti-aging little gadget which has got the infrared lights and you just hold it and, and you can hold it right under your eyes. So I've been using that. Um, I also have been using, I've used twice now, um, these masks, eye masks, you know, from the V2 
code. Um, they are oxygen eye masks that you put on overnight, so you sleep with them in. They come really lovely packaged. I think it was one, two, three, four, six, I think I got here. And they come in individual uh, packets like this and you have two patches and after you've cleansed, you apply them onto your eyes and sleep with them. So I've done that twice. They say you're supposed to do it two to three times a week. So I've done it once in two weeks, um, twice in one week. And maybe that helps as well. Uh, you're supposed to have ongoing benefits while you use this. And this, and you know, I've talked about it before. I've had it in my favorites. This is the most inexpensive eye cream from Balance Snake Venom Eye Cream. Um, and I remember when I started using it a while ago, some of you said that my under eye area looks better. So it's that as well. And I don't know if it's just one of those products. So in the evening, I still use the Tranquility for under my eye. And in the mornings, I use this one. But once I finish the Tranquility, I've used it for years now. Um, I am going to stay with this because it is so inexpensive and it seems to be doing good job. So I don't know if it's just one of those things or accumulation of all of it. And also makeup and lighting. Um, but yes, I agree with you now. I suppose the change has been quite gradual, so I I haven't noticed it myself um, suddenly one day. But after you've said it and I watch my videos back, yeah, I can see that my bags um, are looking better. Thank Christ for that, because you know how I've always been whinging and moaning about my bags and uh, I was prepared to have surgery but I would like to well ideally I wouldn't want to have a surgery but if, if they ever bother me so much and get really bad I probably would so I thought today I will just show you you've seen what I use apart from makeup and I show you how I do because you've been asking about that as well I'm sure I've done a tutorial with the whole face how I do my my concealing and everything but I thought today I just do it just to show you exactly what I do with my under eye area when I put my makeup on so I hope you enjoyed this like I said I've got nothing else to report I could see it, sit here and talk to you about anything and everything because I like talking but that could be boring so I thought today I give you that instead so, um, yeah, have a look how I do it. Okay, so I have um, put my foundation on and as you can see, I only put it up to here. So you can still see my bags, but do you know what? I must say they are <laughs> looking better. So I don't put the foundation under my eyes unless I'm using something like CC cream because I think this is uh, light enough to go under my eyes. So after I've done that, before I do anything else, I will use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and mine is in medium light neutral. And I just, about that much, just on my bags, because this is a um, very similar color to my foundation, so it's not brightening is just for coverage and I pat it in with my finger and I do it all over my lid as well and I rub it a bit in so this one gives you quite a good coverage sorry about the light it might be changing it's very sunny this side of my house today um, but hopefully you can see everything. And keep patting it in. Patting is very good anyway for your bags because it stimulates the drainage. So, okay, so that's that. Now what I do, which might be weird, I set my 
foundation with the Laura Mercier mineral powder. This is rich vanilla and I don't go with it under my eyes, okay? I, I mostly, you see, I'm avoiding this triangle that you usually do highlight, you know, and I go down my neck. Don't ask me why I do it in that um, order, but I just do. Bit down my nose and my forehead. Not too much because I'm not using this um, as a foundation because it is a mineral foundation. I, I use it to set my foundation with and also because it is mineral powder it gives a bit of a luminosity to your skin. Then what I do is I take the LA Girl, <laughs> I can never say it, LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer and I have neutral, sorry, natural or I sometimes use the creamy beige and I highlight under my eyes with this. I think that helps diffuse the light from the bags but when you're highlighting you mustn't highlight just here the bags you have to go below the bag as well because otherwise you will emphasize the bag so I sort of go in that shape but under my bag I will blend some of it into the bag but majority, majority of it goes under the bag I can do some highlighting here as well, but we're talking about bags today. Then I pat it any old how, just to pat it a bit. Go a bit more here than here. Then I take the uh, Beauty Blender, damp Beauty Blender, and blend it in. Okay, so you can see that's brighten up the under right area. Now I set it quickly. I always used to worry about that. You know, they talk about this baking your powder over your concealer that you will crease your lines and look. And you know, I actually think it doesn't settle in, your, in my lines more than if I didn't do it. And it actually looks really nice. So now I'm taking Ben Nye Banana Powder and I've got here the e.l.f. blush brush. I quite like using this. Take quite a generous amount and I pat it where I just um, highlight it and all over my eyelid. I don't know how that looks in the camera if you can see the difference. Um, and do the same on this one. So that's that done. Now what I would do, I would go into my contouring. So I quickly do that because then I'll use something else afterwards. But I, I do this first. So I take my uh, Bahama Mama from the Balm Bronzing Powder on my Sephora 56 brush. I'm not doing major contouring, just... Just a bit, because I've got a flat face, I don't have cheekbones. That's all I do. Then I take uh, my Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. And I bronze a bit. You've seen me doing this plenty of time. In sort of that shape so i go a bit over that contour in my mickey mouse forehead <laughs> okay and after i've done that i then do blush and today i'm going to use a uh, mac plum foolery I've 
okay and now which makes a big difference is the hourglass ambient light palette and i tell you how i use it so i use the incandescent light which is right in the middle as my highlight not always but i have been doing that lately with a small down brush just on the top of my cheeks it's very subtle and then i take a bigger powder brush down brush and i dip uh, into dim light and radiant light together sort of like this and I go under my eye and I think that diffuses light so lovely and that's how I take care of my under eye area So I don't know how this looks on the camera, but usually you can see the bags when I look down. Do you know, I can see the difference. So I don't know if it's a mixture of all these things or just the makeup. It can't be just the makeup because I've been doing my makeup in, a, in that way or very similar way for a very long time. So I'm going to go off now and um, finish my makeup. Am I video it actually for you so you get tutorial out of it um i hope that answered your questions and explained how i use the things thank you very much for watching and i see you soon bye